Hey, hey, hello everybody, this is Mr. Soizes, and today I'm going to be showing you my newest invention and the newest member of the Redstone Works family, but this is a special episode. This is my 200 subscriber special. This is so cool, guys. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. I have been working so hard to get to a level where I'd be able to have 200 subscribers, and my goal actually is 10,000, and that's where I feel like once I get to 10,000, then I'll be able to put like an extremely large amount of work in my episodes and uh, maybe I'll be able to make it my full-time job and yeah when I'm going to university at least and uh, I'm just really excited that we've gotten this far you know it's always the first little hill that you ought to get past so I don't want to make this intro too long because this video is still about this farm so guys this farm is a 1.8 farm meant for the new update where they cranked up the amount of snow that you get per broken layer and uh, so with this farm it's actually an industrial farm so you can use it to get snow for huge projects or you can use it to get snow for little projects but I'd suggest using my other snow farm that I've made uh, link on the screen and in the description if you want to right now and uh, go check that out uh, but this one it, that one, I have to say, disclaimer, that one doesn't pick up all the snowballs. This one, its entire purpose, why I rebuilt the farm, uh, same sort of concept, some help from other YouTubers, actually not YouTubers, but uh, some of my fans, um, which is really cool. So, uh, yeah, this is actually a farm where you can AFK for way, way longer, and it gets you way, way more snowballs with way less loss, and also, um, I'm not sure if the efficiency is necessarily higher, but I would guess that it is, considering you're getting two snowballs per one snow layer broken. So, hopefully you guys like this farm. To build it, you're going to need 38 non-transparent blocks, 16 transparent blocks, 6 droppers, 10 chests, 8 trapped chests, 2 sticky pistons, 3 redstone repeaters, 5 redstone dust, 1 redstone torch, 1 cobblestone wall, 1 of some sort of glass pane, one fence, one lever, one trap door, two of some sort of slab, uh, two ladders, 11 hoppers, one bucket of water, two snow blocks, one pumpkin, and a minimum of one sort of shovel. All right, let's get to building it. Now what you want to do in an 11 by 5 area, remembering that this is your front right here, go ahead with some trap chests and then normal chests alternating between the two. Go eight blocks with double chests right beside each other. And there you go. That should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember that you skipped this block right here. All right, so now on the other side of them, go ahead and place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight hoppers facing into them. And you can do that by pressing shift, which you also need to do to place this glass right on top of the chests right there. Now go ahead down here and you can place, boom, just some uh, barriers because you're going to be having water on top of these hoppers. So here we go. And let's just go ahead and take that block away. You can go ahead and place your water in right here now. And that water is going to go on the side that has an extra uh, empty space of blocks right here. All right, so now take your glass and build up one, two, one, two, and one two and one two right and now get your cobblestone wall right there your block right beside it and up here you want to place in one block there one block there sticky piston underneath the further one facing inwards towards this block right here okay now you can continue right here by placing one more block with a sticky piston facing upwards and you can place a block sticking right off of it with a block on top of it, just like that. Okay, now from this block you want Im want to make a sort of plus sign. So you can see that sort of plus sign right here and you want to actually use this block to make a second plus sign right there and then take out the middles to make sort of figure eight. So you see that you've done it right if it looks like this. Now go ahead to this side right here and add that one block right there okay now we can start adding all of our redstone stuff so let's see what do we not need we don't need trap chests there we go 
So uh, go ahead from this bottom block, place one redstone here, and now on the block on top of it, place a redstone torch, and the block on top of that, place redstone dust. Now, going from the next line, right here what you want to do is place a, um, actually a redstone repeater facing this way on full delay, facing into this block that has the torch on top of it. And then right here, the next block up, you want to place a redstone repeater facing into this block, full delay, and a lever on the top of it. You don't need to flick that yet, you just want to uh, place one more redstone here and that should start your circuit and uh, you can place your redstone repeater right there okay so you can see what that's doing that is powering this block and that's it, powering this block which goes through for just one tick which gets pulled out by this repeater and it's going to push this piston with one pulse so it's going to push the block leave the block there then the next time it's going to pull it back because it, this is a one tick pulse it's called a mono stable circuit okay and this right here is just a clock so if you want to stop the clock go ahead and flick that now what you want to do is go ahead and we're done with all of these things so let's get those out and we're going to need our droppers and we're going to need all of this stuff okay that's good for now uh, so let's get our droppers and right here so remembering that this is the front again uh, right here here's your redstone on on the side of this redstone right here, you gotta kinda go above it and place it just on the side hitbox of the redstone right there, so right beside that redstone dust. Place a uh, dropper facing upwards, one, two, and three more of those. So four in total going up. And then one facing to the in towards the machine here um, as the fifth up, and one facing into the machine's center, sort of like right here on the same level as the last one. Now you want to place a hopper facing into this one and you want to go down here and place a hopper facing into this dropper and you're going to have a normal double chest so not trap chest just normal double chest right here with a hopper facing into it right beside that redstone repeater with a half slab on top of it and you want to place one block underneath this dispense or this uh, dropper but don't put a block right on top of here so now you can place two blocks on top of anywhere where you see full blocks full blocks of glass and also right here and on top of this air block to get this shape okay so now you're gonna place in your snow golem so take your glass pane whatever color you decided to use or maybe just a regular one place that right there place your fence right here and if you have any extra fences you might just want to place them up here and you can get rid of those two things go ahead and place your snow golem on top of here and he should just slide right in if you push him and go ahead and take away these fences here and uh, if he ever stops jumping then we'll be able to place a block boom and uh, on top of that block what you want to do is place a half slab and you want to place a trap door on that half slab to cover up this gap right here. You also want to place one block right here so that this is a nice little hole. And now I'm going to show you orientate you again. This is the front. So if I go here, then I need to turn around so that I'm looking at this dropper. One ladder underneath it and one ladder right there. And that makes sure that none of these shovels actually get stuck on anywhere and just despawn. So make sure you put the ladders just like that. And that is, I know you, it seems like you could just put it on this wall, but it doesn't work so well like that. So that is where you have to have those ladders. And I believe that that is everything. So now I'm going to show you how to use this thing. So go ahead, and uh, this is going to be open by default. Once you use the machine, you'll see that. Let's just go ahead and get some redstone lamps. It, does, it, it doesn't need to be redstone lamps. It can be literally anything. It can be all different items, all the same item, doesn't matter. Just go ahead and fill your inventory with all of these items, leaving one little gap right here, which will be for your stone shovels. So now, while the machine is still off, go down here and enter the chest. 
and go ahead I can just middle mouse click to get extra shovels in creative so let me do that all right and uh, of course in survival you just have to make them and put them all in here all right so now uh, remember that this inventory slot is all uh, open so let me get into game mode zero which is survival and so once I go ahead and I finish the machine I go ahead of course and put the shovels in and I come up here and step on this ladder click the lever and then go down now the shovels need a little bit of time to get to this specific dropper once they do you can get them go ahead and stand anywhere on this block that you want to and just start attacking this block that uh, has snow on it and you might be wondering why this block attracts and what's the point of that and uh, the point is that snow needs to go down into the hoppers underneath and also snow gets created so fast it's actually double the speed as it used to be uh, that this isn't really going to affect your AFK time at all um, this this out and in uh, and uh, there's other ways to do it where it just retracts real fast and then comes back but then the items can glitch everywhere and so this way it lets the items fall nice and gently then it comes back lets you break some snow then it goes away comes back nice and simple way to do it and uh, most are snowballs except for some of them that happen to get stuck on the cobblestone fence that the I not iron but snow golem is standing on um, they all go into your storage system and you will see it while using the this machine that your storage system gets filled up extremely fast and you might even want to uh, extend it a little bit by putting extra hoppers um, coming out of these hoppers that you already see and uh, another way to AFK without actually just sitting here if you want to go make yourself a sandwich or something you can go ahead go to options controls and then go to your attack slash destroy button and change that button to something else I like to use up and then done done back to game now right here I'm just getting out this mini stapler that I have and I'm gonna place that on top of the up button so now that should keep on attacking for me whenever that block comes back you see that so I can clap I can what else can you do with only two hands I can crack my knuckles I don't know if that's something that you can only do with two hands um, trying to think I think clapping is like the only thing anyways so um, yeah now I can go ahead and get myself a sandwich or whatever and I can um, go do some homework or whatever it is and I'm gonna come back and there's gonna be more snowballs than I know what to do with so this is a great farm if you want to like make some snow fortress or something right because look at this I can snap and I can clap I can do a little dance party in my seat you can't see it but you know sorry about that I should have a webcam maybe one of these days um, and uh, yeah and all the time that I'm doing that I'm getting snow so once you've made this farm just set it up takes a few seconds and then go ahead do whatever you want in your real life come back after I will of course I've posted the the times for each type of material that you've used to make the shovels and filled that chest with those type of shovels with right here on the screen again in case you missed it last time and uh, yeah so you can go away for that much time come back and uh, you should be all good so yeah don't worry about this machine breaking or anything as long as you don't kill the snow golem or something you should be fine and uh, as long as you don't get killed by a creeper you, again you should be fine and as you see, it keeps on replenishing my shovel. So I think I've talked for long enough. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, this is actually a very special farm because most of the uh, AFK farms nowadays, they actually use an enchanting table. And I figured a way around that by using this whole uh, piston retraction thing and the uh, cobblestone, uh, what is that called? A cobblestone fence. Yeah, so this is a very, very cheap snow farm compared to other ones where they take two diamonds, four obsidian, and one buck, right, for that enchanting table. So, this one, guys, I would love if you left me a thumbs up for it, shared this design with your friends, shared it with your enemies, because, you know, keep your friends close, but your enemies close, or that sort of thing. Make sure... <sighs> I've been talking for a long time. Make sure to leave a like, 
And guys, most of all, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to smile. I really hope you guys like this one, and I'm so thankful for 200 subscribers. Alright, see you guys in the next one.